Hey lovers, how are you? Mush, how's it going? Armour Pants here. Got another video as well. You've done a this one psycho badge. Done a few videos before. SU 12244 Mastery game, innit? Before I get into that, just a couple of other uh, YouTube channels I'd like to draw your attention to. Baby on Blitz. Uh, that's Salman's channel. I've done a few videos with him. Psycho badge, this is Simon here. And then Smile World of Tank Blitz. That's Yuri Clan Lead and Smile. That's his channel. They're all super unicorn players. They do fantastic videos, great gameplay. A lot of information about tanks and you can learn a lot and they're totally underutilized so subscribe if you can some more of the tank blitz assets i think you should have a look at blitzhanger.com great for checking out tanks upgrades and um, stats all that stuff blitz stars brilliant for individual and clan stats so use them if you can support them anyway through donation whatever do so if not just utilize them anyway why not all right so here we go here's the game so we told you before we've done a few games with uh, simon before that was psycho badge which is sort of a euphemism for crazy cunt um, and I told you before, he's a, he's a helicopter pilot, which is a cool job, but also means he's probably in real life crazy cunt. Um, I mentioned before, I had a couple of helicopter trips myself, and I didn't really like it, and I told you all the contents of my stomach and my arse and my shoes, and it wasn't that pleasant. So somebody said, well, is there anything pleasant about it? Well, there was. I was one helicopter journey I was on once, which was great. I flew from Nice to Monaco, um, and if you're ever there in Nice and you want to go to Monaco, I definitely recommend it, because... Um, Here's a little known fact about um, traveling um, between Nice and Monaco. It's actually cheaper to travel by helicopter than it is by taxi. Yep, uh, helicopter is 90 euros, taxi is 95 euros. So there you go, a little tip from Armored. So if you're ever there, treat yourself, yeah? Anyway, back to this game. So this uh, old uh, psycho, he goes to support the, uh, the meds uh, taken by C. And um, because this tank's pretty fast, you can actually do that. It's very fast, very maneuverable. So for TD, um, it can compensate with lack of turret by its speed, right? And you saw there, um, between uh, the SU and the SOI, the SOI 100, they completely fucked up that power uh, type 58. So his arse just got fucking totally ripped asunder there. So yeah, totally fucking um, thrown around and ring destroyed, didn't he? So that's him done. Um, and you can see how maneuvering tank is, see how fast it gets around the map there. By the way, you see the old Russian tank there, you see in the back, there's a sleeping bag and two barrels of vodka. So, yeah, typical tank crew from Russia. Um, by the way, if you look at the old, uh, if you look at the muzzle velocity, and it sort of lobbed that shell, I didn't know, which is, that's why the difference between the Russian tanks and the German tanks isn't the muzzle velocity and dispersion and that. So the German guns are so much better. But the gun on this thing is not so bad. A uh, real, real pen for you. Um, although we didn't dare. Just as I say, that commentator's curse, isn't it? Commentator's curse, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, you'll see here again, I have absolutely no fucking idea what that is. RNG, is it? Or what is it? Like, is it the gun? Or fucking, is it the gaming gun that's having a laugh at us? I don't know. It was completely fucking phantom shot that was. But anyway, old psycho's not to be perturbed, so he continues on going. Um, and does some fucking nice bit of uh, damage in here now. So he's coming up on the coral, you know, doesn't miss this time. Nice bit of pen in there. You see the tank uh, with even its normal AP shells rolling from 350 up to 450 for you on the Alpha. Got good pen on distance, you see there. And if you move it around, you're wiggling, jiggling on that, it can bounce shots. Yo, Kuro here now, I don't know, he's like a fucking lost dog, I don't even know what he's trying to do. And he doesn't really do much except expose his arsehole for a butt fucking. Which, um, and the old cycle that Julia obliges. There you go, Oop, that's right up the arsehole. There you go, that was pretty murky around there. Straight, straight up the arsehole. In fact, you could call it Michael Jackson round. It was straight up the arse, but on a smaller target. So, um, yeah, the old uh, SU. As a tank destroyer, I played it myself. Um, it's a tier 7 uh, premium tank. It is pretty good, right? It's got good uh, damage per minute, it's maneuverable. Um, and it can bounce shots, it's got a decent armor profile. So, if you're looking for a tier 7 tank, a premium tank, someone's gonna earn you credits and all that, and it is a bit forgiving, you know, because it can bounce shots. It's got relatively decent reload for it. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it's not bad, so its DPM is quite high. The gun is relatively decent as well for uh, Russian TD. So, um, yeah, but you'll see here now on the passage play just coming up just how maneuverable the tank is. And um, in actuality, in some cases, you can even play it like a med. Now, this piece of play here, if you watch what he does with the tank, and uh, this angle here, he looks like he's going to cut him off and ram him, so that stops him going beyond him. Um, psychologically, he won that battle there, so even though he bounced that shot, he also then received a bounce in return, 
but the guy's trying to get away and look there's only mean about the speed of this tank very few TDs can do that can catch him up and just blow the arsehole right at him fantastic um, actually just have a new round Stephen Hawking round because it creates a black hole yeah it did create a massive black hole there sucked in all sorts of shades there you go mastery badge for the old psycho badge Ooh, poet I don't even know it mastery badge for the psycho badge and uh, you can see there, I mean, um, pretty decent damage, around two kills, but um, as we said before, um, with the mastery games, it's not always about the damage, it's not always about the number of kills, it's the XP, and you can get that from all sorts of things, you know, so capturing the base, moving around the map, um, spotting up, etc, like that, you know, so bouncing shots, all of it uh, all of it generates XP, and you can see there, the old Psycho Badge lad, um, is able to maximize that and deliver a mastery game, so there you go, but I mean, you saw some of the, the strengths of the tank. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers, Mush, and all that. And um, by the way, that uh, like uh, Simon looks like a badge on YouTube. That music was the uh, uh, Victory March, uh, Triumphal March from uh, Aida, from uh, Giuseppe Verdi. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, cheers. Take it easy now. Cheers now. Bye, bye. Cheers, bye.